Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with another installment of Ask Daily, our weekly series where you guys get to ask me any questions you like, whether it be Star Wars related, gaming related, etc, etc, in the comment section below, on the Discord, on Instagram, on Twitter, wherever you feel like asking. And uh, on top of that, I just want to give a quick shout out to myself uh, because yesterday I uploaded uh, one of my favorite episodes of Rico's Brigade, actually, uh, and it's just doing okay in terms of views. So I wanted to just let you guys know that's out there if you want to go check it out. I don't know if the YouTube algorithm kind of messed with it a little bit or if there just wasn't that much interest in the title and thumbnail, but I felt like it was one of the best episodes I've done in a long time. So I just wanted to maybe boost it a little bit. Regardless, let's get into these questions. So first question comes from Isaac Kim, who asks, what do you think is the best, strongest, and most elite clone troopers? Now, I think there's a few ways you can go about answering this. You could probably do it in terms of who is the strongest clone trooper legion, who are the strongest clone trooper unit types, or clone trooper variants sort of a thing. So in terms of legions, I would probably say the Galactic Marines. I mean, they're proven to be some of the toughest troopers of all time, not to mention Commander Bakara is an extreme extreme commander who really hardballs them and makes them be the best of the best. But that's kind of a cheating answer because they are Marines after all. And so in terms of like normal clone trooper legions, I would honestly go with the 501st. I mean, I know it's a cop out answer, but like they have proven time and again to be resourceful, outside the box thinking, and extremely strong and skillful. They are just well-rounded good troopers. In terms of the best unit type, probably commandos followed by arc troopers. I mean, both of these units have a lot of merit behind them, but I think that commandos just sort of hold that edge a little bit higher. Then in terms of like trooper roles in battle, I would probably go with heavy gunners. I mean, we see heavy gunners having to stand with Z6 rotary cannons in the middle of the open, essentially barely mobile because they're lugging this massive cannon around having to fire it they're probably extremely strong because they've been using this cannon for so long and they just tear down droids with them so i'd say those guys are probably the most elite in terms of clone trooper roles in the army the next question comes from 1000 subs with no videos challenge and he asks will you buy more than one aat lego set probably not Pro probably not the next question comes from General Geo, who asks, are you still going to play Star Wars Battlefront 2, even though there will be no more updates? Yes, I, I still actually play it to this day, uh, even though the last update came out a while ago. I think it's just an all-around great game right now. And to be honest, I play a ton of games that don't get updated anymore. I play Battlefield 3 religiously still, and Battlefield 4... A lot of Battlefield. I, I play a lot of Battlefield. Uh, and I also sometimes dabble in the older Call of Duties. Not to mention, I'm a sucker for messing around with old Pokemon games that came out in like 2008 or whatever. Diamond and Pearl, I've beaten like three or four times at this point. So, you know, just because a game isn't getting updates doesn't mean it's not worth playing and not still fun. So, yes, I will definitely be playing more Star Wars Battlefront 2. In fact, that's probably going to be the background footage for this video. Next up, we have Retalker, who asks, will you get clone armor, and what is your favorite Legion? Now, I believe he means real-life clone trooper armor, which is, of course, purchasable, and the honest answer, probably not. It's very large and bulky. It takes up a lot of space. I don't really want that slash have room for it to be completely honest and I would never wear it you know cosplaying is not really my thing I think it's really cool when other people do it and I love you know I've been to PAX East twice and I love looking at all the creative costumes people have put together and things like that I think it's really cool but it's not really my thing I get very self-conscious and I wouldn't be wanting to walk around as a clone trooper really having people come up and take photos or whatever uh because they see oh look a clone trooper or whatever. it's just not really my thing i'd never wear it i and i think it's expensive too what i might do is go and buy a clone trooper helmet because that's you know basically a, a like a trophy piece that you can put on a shelf or something like that i think those are really cool uh there is a great instagram 
called Samoylov Art. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but uh, they make custom clone trooper helmets on commission, and uh, I found them actually through Wolf Wolf Wolf. He uh, he has his Commander Wolf helmet from them, and if you check out their Instagram, they have some really really cool helmets. I I might end up buying one of those and and do a commission through them. Uh, but I think it's it's pretty expensive, and rightfully so, because they're spending a ton of time making this extremely well-made, detailed helmet. It's basically a piece of art, so I, I don't blame them for making it expensive. They put a lot of man hours into it and stuff like that, but, you know, uh, probably in the future, in the future, when I've got more money to spend on that kind of a thing. The next question comes from Commander Head, who says, What is your favorite base class to play as in Battlefront 2? I really like the specialist. I think the sniping mechanics in Star Wars Battlefront 2 are really, really fun. I, they're some of the best times I've ever had in that game, to be completely honest. I think they're just an absolute blast. If I were to rank the classes that I like playing, it'd probably go specialist, assault, heavy, officer. I used to absolutely love heavy, to be completely honest. That probably used to be my number one pick, but then I just got bored of playing it. To be honest, like I, I overdid it a little bit too much on the heavy. I played heavy so much for such a short period of time, and then I'm, I'm just kind of done with heavy. But yeah, specialist is so fun. It, it's so easy to get headshots in that game. Like the hitbox for heads in Star Wars Battlefront 2 is ridiculous. So it makes snipers extremely overpowered, especially that one shot sniper headshot killer. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a great thing. The next question comes from the Turkey Warriors. He asks, Daily, why did you start the Star Wars YouTube channel and what was going through your mind? So originally, I actually had this channel called Daily Gaming, uh, where I did some Star Wars stuff, actually, but it was mainly just an all-around whatever I felt like playing style of channel. And I started it because junior year of high school, I was getting really, really stressed out and I didn't have any way to sort of like alleviate that stress. Uh, I was working a job, but that still stressed me out more. It, you know, it wasn't like this fulfilling job. It was just kind of work. And on top of that, I had, you know, SAT prep going on and things like that. So, you know, back when I started that channel in, I don't know, 2014 or whatever it was, I was just, I was just a bundle of stress. I was not having a good time. And, uh, you know, if you guys are in high school, I feel for you because you got all these hormones, you're doing all these, you know, life-changing things, these important things that are going to, you know, end up putting you into whatever college you go to. You have to get these certain grades to go to certain colleges. And there's all this family pressure about getting into a good college and stuff like that. So I, I completely feel for you. Um, and so when I was in that situation, I just needed an outlet somewhere to vent. So I started daily gaming where I could just chat. I could just chat into the mic. It was like a podcast kind of a thing. Um, and I would just talk and that helped me sort of put my mind off of what was going on and help me focus on something more fun and completely different. Now, Daily Gaming did get taken down. You can check out the video on that channel, the final video on that channel, uh, for the reason why. But uh, eventually, I wanted to start again uh, with the help of some of my friends who were like, yeah, you should. Uh, so I was like, okay, we're going to be more focused on one topic. That way we get more growth and we're more focused and all that stuff. And so that's why Daily Tactics was born because I wanted to try YouTube in terms of a more successful approach, you know, something that would bring me more success, which I thought would be through Star Wars. Now, the final question is from Hello Hello, who asks, Daily, how much do you think you have spent on Lego? Uh, eh, ah, too much, too much. I don't like talking about money. Uh, but I, I think probably $2,000, probably in terms of since I started doing it on the channel before that, probably more, um, when I was a kid and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm talking right when we started doing Lego on the YouTube channel, probably since then, like 2000 bucks or something. Um, I've had to cut back significantly because I, I have bills coming up now. Um, I have to pay my tuition for uh, college and I have to pay a bunch of other stuff as well. So I'm going to have less funds free to start paying for Lego things. Um, 
But what is kind of nice is that since I started doing Lego, a, a bunch of Lego sellers have reached out to me for sponsorships and things like that, and they send me a lot of Lego for free so I can make content using the sets and stuff like that that they send me for free, which is really nice. Um, on top of that, the fan mail videos give me more Lego content that I can do without me having to spend a ton of money. Um, you know, all I have to spend is like the... 300 bucks for the P.O. box. So the Lego content won't slow down or won't go anywhere. Uh, it's just that I'm going to be spending a little bit less out of pocket. I, I still plan on spending a little bit on some Lego sets that are coming out like the 501st Battle Pack and the AAT probably, but I just won't have to break my bank anymore as much because of this new support that I can make Lego videos out of. I'm also trying to do more creative things with the Lego videos that don't require spending money, like making memes out of Legos. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit more hard strapped now that uh, I have to pay a bunch of bills that are coming up, essentially. And uh, that, you know, that was no surprise. I was ready for that. The, you know, I'm not in a, uh, you know, bad situation where I can't afford to live or anything like that. It's just I've got bills coming up and, you know, I can pay them. I just can't spend as much on Lego now. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Either way, guys, I think that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this um, series. I, I think it's fun to just sort of vent out, uh, you know, and, and talk about the things that you guys are interested in talking about. It's a bit more like community interaction driven, so I think it's good. Either way, if you want to ask more questions, ask them on Discord, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc, etc. Up to you where you ask them, but uh, trust me, I'll be answering uh, about seven or eight of them every video. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to smash that like button. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.